chipboard book and this is from Colorbox, and it's about a dollar fifty nine and there's five pages in there and you've got front and back so you actually get ten different pages so today I'm going to show you that you can use plain old ordinary masking tape and create a really cool texture on your chipboard or on your paper or anything you'd like and all you need to do I pre-printed I pre-painted this because I just wanted it to be painted and may use may leave some of it without the masking tape on it but you can just go randomly around and kind of crinkle up the masking tape and just lay it on top and you're, what you're doing is you're creating a texture that you can ink or paint over that will look really cool once you have the ink or paint over it and you won't even know that it was done by just layering masking tape so this is a really cool technique just randomly lay it you can crinkle it as you go if you want to and that just adds a little dimension to it now what you can do is after you lay your masking tape you can take a product called gesso and you can paint on top of the masking tape and that'll give you a bright white color and so whatever color you put on it will be very bright but what i'm going for is more of a muted kind of look so instead of painting the gesso on there, I'm going to just paint right over the masking tape. So go ahead and cover your piece of chipboard. And we're going to continue covering this here and we'll be back to show you what it looks like. So now I have this, I'm just covering the middle. I didn't want to cover the edges because I might do a little something extra there. So as you can see, I now have texture right in the middle of this piece. And now I'm just going to take this Brilliance Dewdrop ink and it's a little metallic and I'm going to start running it over and it'll pick up all those nooks and crannies and it's really create a really cool texture. Mm. And we were talking about um, you know you don't have to be random if you don't want to. Their masking tape comes in a lot of different widths and if you wanted to be precise, you could create a herringbone or a chevron or even make it look like it's woven like a basket weave. Exactly. And just put your strips running along a pattern. So you can do anything you want with this. Exactly. So I just used the ink, but you can certainly come back and use some glimmer mists. And, and these are ones I made by myself, and I'll show you how to make those on another podcast. But you can just randomly spray this ink around and totally get a different look. So don't be afraid to try different things. You can do ink, you can do paint, you can do some other kind of texture like texture magic, anything you like. So have fun with it and play around. Mm -hmm. 